Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hello. How are you, people? How's everything? Hello, good evening. Good evening. It's everything going good, guys, with you? these things. So how was your day, people? How have you been? Was it like difficult? Was it like easy? Or is it kind of hard? It's really busy. Really? You yeah. had a lot of things to do today? Yeah. Today it was really hard. Oh my God, I can't tell. Yeah, man, sometimes we had those kind of days in which we just want to get home and try to relax and don't think about the next day, right? Well, uh, I feel the same because I, I work in home, so. Oh, so you're working from it, home? I yeah, I'm working from home. Ah, okay. I thought you were uh, going to your work on site. Okay, but it brings its advantages uh, working from home because you don't have to be in, on traffic. Uh, you know, like you don't have to go in a hurry. It brings its benefits working from home, but sometimes it's like uh, you don't go out. <laughs> Very often, right? Yeah, at least at least that. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so all right, well, all right, guys. So, so welcome back to another video conference. I am going to start with the attendance list. To we'll start with the class content. Carmen Eugenia. Mm -hmm. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, good. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, excellent. Daisy Maricela. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just not here yet. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Vladimir. All right, so. Estela Mabel. Present, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, great. Fatima Lourdes. Present, good evening. Okay, good evening. Jaime Antonio. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Okay, Eduardo Jose. Present, good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, let me see. Carla Lisette. All right, so she's there, but she's yeah, at work. Okay, good. Kenia Cecilia. Present. Okay, nice. Lorena Beatriz. So she's not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Okay, it's been a couple of days without Manuel here. That's weird. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, great. Mary Raquel. Okay, so Mary's not here yet. Okay, Noemi Betsabe. Okay, not even Noemi yet. Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. Okay, very good guys there you go so 
guys, before, you know, like uh, starting with the previous activity that we were just finishing last night. And if you remember, we just finishing the, the discussion among you guys. But now we're going to, you know, like, discuss among you because I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes just for you to do that. And then you're gonna explain what was the process that you were talking about yesterday, right? So, but before starting with that, and I will give the chance for the rest of the, your classmates to show up to the class, enjoy to the class. So let's start with a short feedback about what we were doing prior to uh, that activity, okay? So guys, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What were we doing? Or what were we discussing in this case? Is any participation for you? What were we discussing, guys? I am listening because I am driving. Okay, thank you for telling me that, Edwin. Okay. Um, Okay, because nobody wants to speak and it's weird on you guys. I'm gonna start asking questions. Let me see. Especially to people who got the cameras off. Hmm. So I was about to ask Maria, but Maria was not in the class yesterday. At least she was as a listener, but I guess she was not paying that much attention. Kenya, what do you remember from yesterday class? What were we doing? Can you make a brief summary about what we were doing? Hi, hello. Hello. We talk about the the process uh, in a companies in inbound logics and outbound logics. Ah, inbound logistics. Ah. Inbound, inbound logistics and outbound logistics. Okay, very good. You mentioned very, very, very useful information in there. Inbound logistics and outbound logistics. Guys, what is an inbound logistic process? According to what we were discussing yesterday, of course. What do you remember, guys? What is an is is when the is the relationship between the companies and their suppliers and about bound logistics is with the customer. Ah, okay, very good. It's the relationship, right, that the companies have with the customers. How they get the product for the customers, right? So basically that was a uh, part of what we were discussing yesterday. Besides that, if you remember guys, we were discussing a vocabulary word, right? So in which we were mentioning very useful vocabulary and vocabulary that we haven't, uh, you know, like used that much, okay? Uh, but we were just discussing this, like for example, the word procurement. Do you remember Edwin Vladimir? What was procurement about? The word procurement from the vocabulary that we were discussing 
Uh, yes, or no. What was procurement? Which one? Which one? I'm sorry. Procurement. Procurement. Um, no, teacher. I don't remember. Sorry. Okay. Someone who can help Edwin. What was procurement? The act of obtaining or buying goods and service. Uh -huh, okay, service. very good. Basically, thank you, Daisy. So basically, procurement is the action uh, of obtaining a product when you buy it, Edwin. Okay. So in Spanish, what is the word procurement about? How can you translate that word into Spanish? Procurement. Do you guys remember? What is procurement? If the concept says that it's like when you obtain a product, right, from a company. So what is the word procurement about? What is that, Daniel? Jesus Christ, people, you have been like, like you're, you're coming like, like you don't want to speak. Try to relax, guys, and, and share your ideas. Okay, even though it might not be like the, the, the good ones, but uh, come on, I practiced. You, you, you can have that, you can practice. Daniel, what is procurement, Daniel? Daniel, you got you. You have the, the microphone off. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, the is it like a, they say that uh, is it that is the action to obtain the uh, good service. So, when procurement is some um, when you need to do or receive or sell a uh, something. Uh, you need to be sure, you need to be polite, you need to be uh, uh, to be good to to, to to let me see to give a good service or, or obtain good service, I think. Mm, okay, <laughs> good. Okay, basically, all right. Uh, and uh, as I was saying, uh, the word procurement in Spanish is like obtención, como obtener algo, right? Procurement, it comes to like to the noun. Obtención, procure, in that case, it's like obtain, obtener, right? So in this case, when we talk about the product, right? Okay, so that was like, you know, vocabulary that we were practicing yesterday, like another one, um, inventory management. We we'll talk about an inventory management. Eduardo, what are we talking about? Hello, I think we're talking about a person who organizes uh, the goods uh, for, for distribution. Mm, I think okay. it look, look, like, look like, like this. Mm -hmm. No, okay. All inventory, right. inventory management. This is the word. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. And if you remember the definition that we were uh, just, uh, you know, like discussing yesterday, it refers to the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location, right? So basically it inquires to the movement of goods, right? So it's pretty similar to what you said, right? But in this case, it, it requires like, you know, like, more people, right, from a company in that case. Okay, very good. So that was part of what we were just, you know, like working with yesterday. And at the end, we were working on an activity that we did not finish, guys. And I see that there are a lot of people who are not showing up in here, and I don't know why. Okay, but anyways, we are going to uh, start with that. 
And before starting with that, I'm not gonna send you to explain what you did yesterday like that, people, because there are some of you that haven't joined yet. So you need to reorganize, you know, like your ideas and everything in order for you to explain what you did, okay? And now, who was working with who yesterday? Because I will give you a couple of minutes, guys, just to start with that, okay? But I need to know who was working with who. For example, Daniel, who was on your team? <laughs> uh, Fatima Artiga. Okay, give me, give me a second. Give me one second. You mean Fatima Artiga? Let me see. What is it? Ah, okay, good. Who else? Yeah, uh, Stella Mabel. Uh -huh. Let me see. I forget this name. Let me see who else. Who else me? was uh, with, with Daniel? Daisy. Ah, okay. Very good. Daisy was with you. Okay, good. What is this? Uh, Mary. 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 Ah, but Mary. Mary's not here. Uh -huh, but Mary's not here yet. Okay. Only... Who else was uh, with uh, Daniel and Daisy? Nobody else? You were like five people. And I don't remember. Do you yeah. remember they see who else? You were like five people. Estela, yes, yes. Estela, Daisy, Liz, uh, Fatima, Mary, and me. Five. Estela, no, they are five. Fatima, exactly. Mary, and me. There were five. five. Okay, good. All right. What about you, Christian? I was working with the two Edwins and Carla Cortez. All right, but Carla is 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 working right now. Uh, so she yeah, will help. Same with thing. Edwin, maybe. Uh-huh, exactly. So I'm gonna send you Fatima Lourdes to work with you, okay? So you can explain to her what you were doing yesterday, so she want she will help you. Okay. Good. Okay. So it means Osbin, Kenya. And uh, who else was with you guys? Teacher, hey. uh, we was work with Eduardo, uh -huh. Lorena Beatriz, and but, Noemi Bexabe. Ah, uh, okay. Where is Noemi? Hmm. Give me a second, guys. Okay, but Lorena is not connected yet. So I'm gonna send you guys to work like that. Let me see. Carmen, Luis, Fatima. Okay, good. And I'm gonna include, let me see. I'm Antonio. Okay, I'm going to include Jaime here. It was Eduardo with you, right? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm gonna move Eduardo from number three. Okay, perfect. Let's join people. And we try to discuss that. Fix uh, whatever you will have to fix, and then we're gonna come back in here just for the explanation of the activity, okay? Let's join.
Do you remember what's the step yesterday we do it? Yes. Sorry, uh, repeat. Do you remember? Do you remember the step that yesterday we did it? Did did um, write the note? Yes. Uh, me too. Uh, who started the, the 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 explanation? The explanation, maybe. I maybe <laughs> me. <laughs> maybe me. You. Yeah, if you want. If, okay. if either one. Want. Yes. So, for example, uh, in our case, we our business is a uh, is a factory. For it, we, we will explain about that. Okay. I'm bringing a little bit help. I'm bringing help, people. Maria, are you there? Hi, good evening. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> good evening. I'm sorry, I was receiving a call. Okay, good. But can you, will you participate uh, tonight? Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. for sure. Perfect. Explain to Maria what you were doing and she will help you up in the explanation. Okay, guys? Okay, don't yeah. worry. Okay. I, 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 I play. This is a replacement of Mary because Mary's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basic. Uh, Says that outsource, outsource companies. Outsource companies. Uh -huh. Outsource companies. Uh, for the customer service, uh, Edwin says that we have two vendors in charge for each store. One of the, vendor, the vendors cha chairs to move the product in their store, and another one who makes the ship, the, the ship, uh, the products in a truck for for um, for shops, like in the corner, like when you see when you saw um, a truck with When you see when you saw a truck, it say at the side Bimbo or, or Diana, and in, in in the shop of your corner, you know that the driver is who sells the product, and so, so. Did, did you understand a little of this process? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our business is a bookstore. Uh, we uh, try to explain to a new partners the, the process. Since uh, you order the product. Ah, I, I, I forgot something important. When you order the, order the product, the product is personalized. That uh, is this is important. Uh, they send us the product personally side, personally side, personalized, personalized. personalized. Uh, by the way, okay. uh, Noemi was here with you guys yesterday. Noemi Betsabe was she yes, here? I think. Uh, I'm gonna bring her here, so maybe she was here. Give me a second. Otherwise, I'm gonna send yeah, I'm gonna send her to another group. Give me a second. What happened? So she's coming. Hi Noemi, you there? Hello, Mr. Hello. Uh, one question. I'm sorry. <laughs> one question. Was this was this the group that you were working with yesterday? Yeah. Uh, yesterday, 
I work with, uh, no, give me a moment. I write the name. Okay, I don't here remember. You have, here you have, here, here you uh, have Kenya, Eduardo, Osbin. I, Osbin, yes, 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 yes. With Eduardo and Osbin and Lorena, Kenya. Ah, okay, perfect. And Fatima. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple of them that are not here yet. Uh, probably they're going to connect later. But okay, here's here's the group. Okay, uh, you have a new person included okay. in here. Uh, hi, me. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you. Okay, uh, Noemi, uh, could you explain? Pass to the the quality control department. Mm hmm. To be checked after that, after garment, if the garment is accepted, pass to the department import export, import export department. Uh, after that, uh, if our client accepts the prototype, they say that yes, I, li I like it, I love it, this is the design. Uh, they ask what other words the Fatima said yesterday. Hmm. I don't remember. I asked for for a long garment about the design that was accepted. Is is the let me see. Is the step by step that we need to when when we need to have a production. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, which step can I do? Yeah. Uh, which you... one? <laughs> what? <laughs> which 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 step? I think the number one in the second is like the easier. I think because yeah. it's just to explain that the customer service we have to look for a potential customer because um yeah. oh I'm not sure you can say. No, no, the, the, the customer service in our case um, uh, is in, in, in charge to talk to to have a business with the uh, with the customer with the client our client or mm -hmm. with a uh, representative Browns for example uh, they uh, uh, Accordingly to the business that are what kind of uh, government that they needed, uh, they uh, accepted the well, how much cost uh, each government. But uh, once once is ready to export, once they receive the the, the garments. One when when the garment is export. And uh -huh. the finish of the, the step in this moment. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't understand your question. Please be clear. Se lo voy a decir en español. Este, cuando contactan al al potencial eh, um, customer, yeah, customer, este, ustedes ya llevan el el producto elaborado. No. Entonces todo el proceso que ustedes, que, o sea, que se está explicando es para elaborar la prenda, para poderla exportar, para que el cliente acepte y vea la calidad de material y de prenda que se va a dar, yeah. para poderlo, digamos, enamorar. Yes, of course, yes, yes. Okay, ya entiendo. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. That can supply the that can supply the store with a product. Uh, as my classmate says, they have este, they have two kinds of of clients. They have a small a small client, a retailer distributors, and they have wholesale vendor like supermarket supermarket as walmart and super select they have to take the product and they put it in trucks and they, uh, 
you can see in the streets a truck with the logo of Grupo Bimbo in one side. And they are responsible to take to deliver the product to uh, every every store in good conditions. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And I don't know, Christian, if, if you will add more information or we just finish with that. Lo único es que. Uh... When when you when you talk about the transport, you you forgot the production planning. Ah, no. And what was that? Uh, the production okay. planning is okay. the the kind of distribution that Bimbo has. Okay. Oh. For me, great. And after another can say about the the detail the, the cost for 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 the 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 buy the buy and and send the products to the stores maybe how many three okay and another can can explain about the the distribution for retailers in El Salvador. Good. Yes, and maybe we have to decide what part can you can you tell. can decide. What what do you want, Kenny? <laughs> the first. The first is the Eduardo. Um, the first. Okay. The number three. Is around the move to the port to the warehouse. Okay. Okay. Mm, Osby. Hi. Hi, May. You are the second one, yes, right? The the first two, and after uh, uh no, Tenia is the the third. I can third. be the second. I okay. can be the second. Okay. After Kenya, uh, Jaime. What do you want? <laughs> Okay, I can. I can. Uh, first, Eduardo. Yes. Yeah. And the second. Me. Okay. The third one. Uh, Kenya. Next, I. You can. You can be the the four. Okay. The four and one. Hi. Uh, you. Uh, I made to explain about the Edwin is a detail to the to the cost to the cost and Osbin can explain about the distribution to the uh, to the I explained and the, the detail uh, the cost the cost of the product, the process. Cost of process. Okay. Okay. And us being is the last one. Yes. Okay. So you guys are, are yeah, we are ready. Ready. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna check on another group and if they are ready, we're gonna go back, okay? Okay.
Ahí sí. The government was accepted. It's on the bicycle. Only that bicycle. It's a, it's a kind of process. If we, the other business is different classes of process. For, for example, Fatima yesterday, or Fatima, no, Mary say that the, the, the process of how to make a cup of coffee production, <laughs> but only, it's only she knows what, what is the production process. But anyone else. You, Marie Gabriela, have you any process about other business? Yes, about tostada de platano. <laughs> I've mm -hmm. been there. Actually, that's what I didn't receive the, the classes two days before because I was uh, helping my uh, cousin to in her business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Sounds good. Sounds good. And you, Stella, have you any business process accordingly to your knowledge? Yes, I I did um, panes con pollo, and, and I did pastelitos, empanadas, enchiladas. Um, it's a, a process very, very, very eh, trabajoso. I don't know how to say that. Very work, very working hard. Oh. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. We're going to change the product. Hey. What, what do you say, Daisy? Uh, yes. Are we going to change the product? Or it's the same? No, 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 no. It's, it's only for here about the other process. It's okay. no, it's not for change. No, they're, they're change. talking about their, uh, they're talking about their own businesses, I think. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. How do you say? Uh, the yeah, Mr. Carlo, how do you say? Eh, como, como que ayer. In, in qué? Cuando hace su propio negocio. Impre, emprendedor. How do you entrepreneur? say entrepreneur? Entrepreneur. Everyone could be entrepreneur. Uh -huh. yes. Entrepreneur. Yeah, when you run uh, your own business and it's going okay. No, actually, yeah, running a, a business. Depending on, on what people is on your surroundings, it might be good for you. For example, in the area where I live, uh, my wife, um, like a couple of weeks ago, I started uh, selling frescos. frescos. She made a uh, horchata frescos and, and cebada, and I don't remember the other ones uh, that is selling. And you know what? People, I mean, most of the people who used to pass by the house there and started seeing, you know, like the, 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 the banner it says that, that se venden frescos and everything, they they just started asking, ah, what kind of frescos do you have and everything? How much is it? And uh, like two blocks away from, from, from the house, there was a store, which started with that business a couple of months ago. And they sell a lot of a lot of frescoes, right? But the only difference is that they sell every refresco in 75 cents. Man, just imagine 75 cents. And it's more <laughs> ice than, than fresco. <laughs> and Emma was, was like, ah, okay, if he's in 75 cents, uh, the frescoes are it's good, good. But it's expensive, so. <laughs> but I think what delicious. Right? Exactly, so I'm gonna reduce what, uh, 25 cents. So I'm gonna sell them for 25 cents. I mean, 50 cents. And, and she said along the, 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 the price in seven, uh, in 50 cents. You know what? 
she makes like from those huge wakalas, she makes like, uh, let me see, like three of them every day. And she's like selling about what? More than, more than 60 frescoes a day. More than 60. Yeah, sometimes when uh, there are like a couple of uh, meetings in the surroundings, it's more than 100 a day. Oh, so just imagine, so just imagine in 50 cents. <laughs> uh, she in her house is making more money sometimes than me. <laughs> but I have to move. In the society. Is it necessary to drive it to exactly. go away? Exactly. So that's why. Have you seen those memes in, on Facebook in which it says like, "El carro del doctor dice, o del del que estudió un doctorado." It has a pickup, a no pickup, and it says like, "El carro de la que vende papitas." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's because of that, man. Because now, be, yeah. become you becoming an entrepreneur, you have the possibilities to get a good income. That's true. That's true. Yes. But everything depends on you know what people need or what people want. All right, guys. So, have you done, guys? Uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. So, so. <laughs> so, so. Not yet. Ah, not yes, yet. There you see. Yes, I know. We're going to destroy this tree. Wish destroy. I don't distribute. Know. Oh, di distribute the whole point. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Okay, okay. Try to do uh, it fast because uh, only one person. Going... No, no, no. I want everybody only to participate. I mean, it's, it's, it, it is okay. not like uh, only Daniel or only Maria or only you. No, everybody has to participate. Okay, everything has yeah. to have a piece of the cake. Okay. All right, good. Make the distribution. I will give you two minutes for that, okay? Then we're going to go back to okay. the main section. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. Uh, you got that board, right? Hey, guys. Hi. How are you going? Uh, fine. We're doing fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Man, you're only three. Yeah, most of the groups are four, or they are like, you know, like as yesterday. But yeah, I uh, know you're gonna do it good. What happened, Christian? Well, Car Carla and Edwin was with us, but I don't know what happened with them. Edwin, yeah, but Edwin, let me see. Edwin Alexander. Edwin Alexander. No, but and Edwin Carla is, Cortez, I guess. But but Edwin Alexander right now is just as a listener because he was driving when. Oh okay. Let me see if I can bring it. You still driving, Edwin? Edwin Alexander? I guess he's driving. So you see, that's he's why. still driving. Yeah. So that's why I think he won't be that much help uh, with you guys. Teacher, sorry, huh? sorry, teacher, a uh, random question for you. Yes. <laughs> uh, which uh, internet do you rec recommend? Uh, and any special one? <laughs> because it is of... <laughs> it's giving you problems, right? Yeah, listen. Yes. Listen, I have, that, I have that issue for a long time. Listen, I had I have in the past I had Claro and here in my area Claro sucks. I mean it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Okay. Real. He met Winston. <laughs> then I moved to, to Tico. Man, but that uh, Jesus, it was <laughs> worse. 
Uh, it oh, was the worst. God. It was worst. I, I, in my last module, it was funny because I ha I used to have uh, one person who works for Claro and one person who used to work for Fortigo, and they were giving offers. <laughs> no teacher, Claro is the best. No teacher, uh, I mean Tigo is the best. And I was like, both of you don't work with <laughs> my area. <laughs> no, what the irony I have is is uh, is independent of those ones. The irony I have. Mm -hmm. I think it's only for Oriente, that is. This is Sultana San Miguel in Morazan. I think it, it is. It's called Flynet. But this one is not Tigo and everything. Yeah, but it, it sometimes gives me problems as well. Uh, so what I'm trying to get is like, I don't know if you have heard the, the, the news that the new uh this new internet from Elon Musk is coming to El Salvador. Already uh, he, he, Star he arrives. Starlink. Yeah. But he's so already have on, to... Me on Mexico, right? At yes. Mexico, right? So uh, exactly. So once it is established in here, apparently uh, they're going to start probably by June or July. So once uh, it starts working in here, I'm gonna try it on. So Let's see what's up. A apparently, that internet is very fast. So yeah, this but... guy, <laughs> sorry. so this guy Elon Musk, he really wants to control the world, right? <laughs> literally, but literally. With this internet, with this internet, you have to pay the antenna, and yeah. it, the cost is. It's a little bit heavy. It's like for about four hundred dollars uh, the equipment. Uh huh. Three hundred. Mm -hmm. The so modem, the antenna, uh, the cable. The yeah, good... you have to pay thirty five dollars. I get for each month. Something like that. The good thing about this internet is like when you pay, for example, it's similar with like when you pay Netflix, for example. You have a membership, and the payment is on on your debit card every month. If you don't pay one month, the service is going to be suspended until you pay again. And if you, for example, want to move to another place, uh, you can take your antenna and you can take everything, the equipment, and you can move on to another place and you have internet, right? Yeah, so but it, uh, it, ha it has problem when you move the yeah. antenna. You don't have internet when you move the antenna. But apparently uh, they are like working on that so you can go wherever you want. And uh, mm -hmm. as long as you get to the place of your destination, you can set up the antenna again and you have internet, apparently. Yep. So I will see the cons and, 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 and pros. So I, I will I will try to, you know, like like to, 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 to test it. So let's see, because yeah, the conventional uh, services in here, Edwin, uh, they are very bad. <laughs> They are very mad. So that's why I cannot recommend you something <laughs> because eh, they are not good. Uh, you're mute, Edwin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble with uh, <laughs> in, uh, Claro Internet. Ooh. A lot, but I don't know why. Ah, but in there, maybe it could. But well, you I have... live, uh, lay, lately it's been very, uh, I don't know, vientoso. Ah, uh, windy. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, windy. But we have. But you don't have regular but... windy. Uh, but you don't have a uh, fabric, fibra, mm, fibra optic. No, no, oh. no. I think. I think that is the problem. Yeah, because with Fibra, yeah, in that case, it's a little bit established, the service. Casi nunca da problema en ese aspecto cuando es Fibra, but cuando no lo es, uff. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like the antennas, man. Oh, it sucks. All right. But so I guess you have established uh, what you're going to say, each one of you, right, guys? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So let's go to the main section and let's start, okay? Okay. Okay, nice.
Okay, so let's wait for everybody to join and we are going to start. Okay, so I guess everybody has joined back. Ah, so guys, who wants to be the first one? Who wants to be the first group to explain what you were doing? <laughs> Nobody wants to be the first one, right? Okay, let's do something, guys. Uh, why don't we do a kind of raffle? So in that case, Nobody wants to say, ah, okay, I was the first one because the teacher says so. So what I su do I suggest? Okay, listen up. I am going to write down in here one number. Okay. This is like in the school, man. Jesus, nobody wants to, to, to be the first one. Listen up. I am going to write down one number in here. Okay. I have written down my number, okay, in here. And I want one person from each group, okay? I want one person from each group. And the person who tells me the number I have written in here, that group is the one that is going to be the first one, okay? Uh -huh. I think it's going to be like kind of good. Daniel. Good price. <laughs> okay, Daniel is going to be representing, okay, one group. Uh, let me see. Edwin Vladimir will do the other one. And uh, who was that? Daniel, uh, Chris, uh, and I mean, Edwin, and uh, who's going to be the other one? Let me see. I don't remember the other group. Eduardo. You were not working with Daniel, right, Eduardo? Not right. <laughs> okay. Good. So, Eduardo, Daniel, and Edwin. Así si los linchan en el grupo no van a ser a mí, okay? Good. So, I'm going to start with Daniel. Daniel, give me a number, Daniel, from one to five. Mention one number from one to five. Mm, let me see it. <laughs> number three ah, okay good you're saved Edwin give me a number from one to five but not mention three because it was chosen by Daniel hi <laughs> number five okay man you're lucky I'm here I have written five Jesus Christ this doesn't mention here no se ve pero it's five <laughs> Okay. I don't see it, teacher. We can you see it. What? We can see it. We can see it. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm gonna take I'm a picture. Ah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a picture. So you won't tell me that I have been, you know, like doing or I have been cheating on you guys. Give me one second. No, you you make it out right now. What? I just <laughs> come on, man. Here you have. Okay. And I've even grabbed this paper. I don't know where did I find it. So here you are. I send the picture to the group so you won't be saying, no, the teacher lied at me. So you see? Sorry, Edwin. OK, let's start. OK. OK. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, we are the first groups. Thanks, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to talk about bimbo and the type of distribution that they have okay. uh, first of all uh we choose the purchasing in the case in case of bimbo they come with suppliers such as farms that provide um, raw materials like milk 
sugar, uh, flour, yeast. And once the portion is made, uh, they store it in their warehouse in order to carry um, out their different bread uh, production for their stores and distributors. And the production planning that, that they have, uh, mm -hmm. he make a mixture of distribution channel, for example, they have a direct channel they can sell they can sell it in his own stores to the consumers uh the retailer channel they retail they retail in his own stores to the consumers uh, the in a small retails in a small store for the consumers and also they have a world sales um channel where they they produce his own product for sale uh, on a distribute with a distributor like uh, Super Selectos, uh, Walmart, Pricemart, and we know that the this uh, that small store buy it with those distributors and in a low quantity for sell it to the consumers. Uh, my partner will talk to you more about it. Edwin. Okay, thank you, Christian. Uh, well, I will try to explain you how we deliver uh, our product. So in this case, the transport uh, that we use is divided in two. Uh, for retailer store, we use uh, our own or in another example, or they bring us their own transportation. And so we sell the, our products. And in the other hand, we have the transportation but we have well we're looking for a outsourced company to deliver our product because uh, it's there are cold stores that uh, they uh, buy us a bank uh, bank bulk i don't know but i try to say uh, uh much our product uh, they have well we have to looking for a uh, uh source transportation for example a big truck and well this is this was my part and my uh, partner fatima will continue with the explanation hi i'm gonna talk about the customer service uh, bimbo has the responsibility to take the orders uh, to the customers like the quantity, the time, the location that they have to deliver the product. And uh, they have two vendors in each store. And as my friend, I'm as my classmate uh, says, they have two um, uh, different channels of distribution. They have uh, small stores like in Vitas and the and they have bigger stores as supermarkets, as super selectos, Walmart, and they have the responsibility to take the product and deliver to the store in good conditions. Uh, as you can see in the strip, the the truck with the logo in one side of the uh, of the truck. Thank you. Okay, very good. Interesting, well explained. Very good, guys. Did a good job. Okay, congratulations, guys. You did an excellent. Now, haha, <laughs> I will give you, Elwin, I will give you the privilege, man, since you chose to be the first one, <laughs> something that you didn't okay. want, I'm pretty sure about that. I will give you the privilege to choose the next group. Daniel or Eduardo? Uh, I will choose Daniel. Good luck. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, Thank there you, you. go. <laughs> and Daniel. Thank you. Man. <laughs> no hard feeling, man. <laughs> no, don't worry. So it basically, okay, basically um, our business, uh, uh, good evening everyone, our groups, we explain about the, uh, the how, the, how to 
get a potential um, customer, potential client, because our business is a factory. To we saw uh, different kinds of clothes. Uh, let's start Daisy. Okay, good evening. Our company is a closing factory. Uh, we will explain all the steps for the preparation of the samples for the subsequent production, sale, and export to customer outside the country. Uh, in in our factory uh, to make um, very very styles uh, jacket uh, sweater um, the shirt and other depend of the customer need only. Oh, yes, thank, thank you, Daisy. Okay, Stella, explain about uh, about the the sample store, the sample department. Sorry, please, Stella, explain. Okay, um, the sample department. They um, getting clarification about style details uh, of piece. They received the design, checking the pattern paper and take fabric buttons or what, whatever material that they need uh, uh, for to make a piece. Uh, preparing different samples and make uh, the, the design. They take material and um, take the pattern to, so, to see uh, a pieces. Um, then uh, they, uh, do a, a report about the the material to um, to get for uh, to the design and this is the the more, most important uh, uh, i don't know how to say that <laughs> um it is difficult to me express this is, is it, is it because i don't know about that eh, eh, es, es su principal rubro del departamento de, de sample department. Okay, es is the main source. Principal... Main source. Okay, thank you. Then I don't know who is the next. Okay, who's okay, next? Okay, thank you, Stella. Thank you, Stella. Este María yeah, will explain uh, the next steps about the. Uh, the, 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 the step uh, how to make a sample. Okay. Maria. After making an, an garment, it depends if it's a pajama or underwear or a pan or whatever the client wants. Uh, after that, they have to pass for a quality control department. So we make sure that the garment that is will be sent, it's in perfect condition that the fabric, it's the fabric, the special fabric that we need. Also, if it's correct or not, once it's accepted, we send it to, to the export department, but we have to make sure that the clothes is ready because if we send something that it probably has a little hole or the fabric is damaged, obviously will not be good for a company. So our department is really important in this case. And that's all. Good, good, okay. Brief and concise, all right. Who's next? Thank you, Mary. So, yeah, it's, uh, after the pass of the, the, the quality control department, the piece, the garment is passed, uh, was sent to the, uh, the import export department. After that, uh, the, the garment is using which be a uh, courier or uh, DHL courier uh, sent to the US, Japan. Okay, let me see. Philippines, I don't know. Uh, our client received the garment and they, if they accept the sample, uh, 
they they ask for a production for about uh, one thousand or three thousand piece. Uh, after that, uh, our company accepts the uh, the price. Uh, the the uh, let me see the condition. Uh, our production was will be made. Uh, basically, it's only that. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Great. Thank you, Daniel, and your team. You did it excellent. Very, very concise and what you were saying. Okay, excellent. And now, the last group. So, guys. Okay. Yours. Good evening for everybody. Uh, our company is a bookstore. And we explain the steps that we need to the finished product, the book in the store to the customer. The first one is uh, we we send uh, by email the order to the factory in China. Uh, something important, something important, something important is that uh, we we need to personalize the logo of our products and after that they send us the product to El Salvador. Okay, interesting. Okay, the factory send the products uh, to El Salvador by chip. Uh, the time for this uh, delivery is around two months because uh, the shipment um, do different uh, trans shipments in Mexico or Panama, but uh, arrive to Acajutla port. Ah, okay. uh, and yes, in Acajutla port, we have to do the the custom the the. Tramitia Donal Custom. I don't know. Custom you, you, and. You can put in and, a check, check, custom check. Yes, and pay the taxes. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Yes. Very good. Kenya. Kenya continues. Okay, all right. Kenya, are you there? Okay. Well, the products, the transportation is the next step. The product comes by SIA transportation in around two, two weeks to enter the country because then they go by bus to the warehouse. For the reception, but by bus, yes. Okay. First, first is in SIA transportations. Uh -huh. When when they arrive, mm -hmm. move in bus from okay. the warehouse. Okay. And then in the warehouse, um, for the reception, they review the good condition from the books, uh -huh. from the product, and enter to the the warehouse okay because for transportation are accumulate after in the product oh, okay and all right now my class may continue with the steps okay good okay um the next step uh, we need to to detail the cost um Signs the production cost to fridge and sales price for wholesalers and retailers because in this step we need to to distribute to distribution with others um sales um what did the place sells 
um, like a libreria, like a bookstore, so, like a bookstore. Yes, and we need to 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 know who is the the. The profits. The profits. Okay. And now uh, us been to finish the play. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um after after picking up the product in the in the Atahu Club for the employee put the cost of each product and then uh, they distribute the all product to the all bookstore mm -hmm. include include the retailer too um, and it, all, all that is so for a uh, a sales agent. Okay, he's sold by an agent, sales agent. Ah, okay, it's all. I guess to the to the bookstores. Yes, I only want to correct it, the the mode of transportation to the to the merchants is by truck, not ah. by bus. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right, good, no problem. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I get it like, okay, good. So actually uh, those type of transportation, about those type of transportations, we're not, we're gonna be talking tomorrow. That if I not, if I'm not grown, that is called a third party company, right? What is a third party company? So in this case of, of third party logistics, in this case, it's like, for example, let's put this as a scenario, okay? So you have the production of something, okay? But you need, you know, to, to, to run your, your product to different facilities, maybe, or warehouses all over the country. So, but you don't have trucks to do that. So what you generally do is like to hire a company of trucks to deliver, you know, your products on the different facilities that you might have. So those companies are generally called per party logistics companies. All right. That that basically that's that's their job, right? To carry on with loads from one place to another one. But as I said, tomorrow we'll be discussing about that deep. All right, guys, you did an you did an excellent job. Thank you to everybody. All right, the idea, the main idea for this one is like you know, like to to besides explaining what you were explaining of your you know like uh, topics, the idea was for you to speak to, right? That's what do I really want for all of you uh, during these classes, guys. All right. The practice, constant practice. Now, we are going to move to something completely different, okay? Uh, and for that, give me one second, guys. I want you to go to page... We're going to touch this a little bit. I'm not into the topic yet, but let's talk a little bit about this. I want you to go to page 20, guys, specifically to the exercise number three. Specifically to the exercise number three. Okay, listen, what are we going to do there? If you remember yesterday, we were working with a couple of definitions and concepts in which you guys explained or, or discussed uh, with another classmates the possible definition for each concept and then 
in here, I was showing you the correct way of uh, the concept with the, the definition. So we're gonna do that exactly the same right now. I want you to read each concept that you have in there. Uh, you have, for example, transportation, private fleet management, freight claim insurance, cargo insurance, and small package service. I want you to read carefully those concepts and try to read the definitions that you have on the right and match the definitions with the concepts, okay? Once you finish, guys, we're gonna check that and I bring the definitions with the concepts on a presentation to you, okay? And at the end, guys, we are going to end up with a short conversation that I'm bringing to you uh, as well, okay? So right now, what we're going to do is just like, well, not doing that alone, I'm gonna send you to work in pairs with that for about five minutes. I think it's gonna be enough. Then I'm gonna bring you back in here to the main section, just to start with, you know, like the checking of that exercise. So just give me one second. Oops. And we are going to start with that, guys. Give me a second. I'm just selecting these people. Okay, good. Open up the breakout rooms and let's try to discuss those definitions and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Do it, guys. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Uh, <laughs> please give us a little bit of explanation what that you needed because I didn't pay attention. <laughs> uh, Mary. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh my God, you didn't pay attention. I was huh? say. Okay. Yeah. You see uh, two lazy people not paying attention together uh, had to recall the teacher. No, 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 I'm kidding. No, listen, guys. What you're going to do is just like, have you seen uh, the chart that is on page 20, exercise three? You got a series of uh, definitions in there and concepts. Building vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, transportation, it says exactly private uh, fleet mm -hmm. management and everything. What you're going to do mm -hmm. is like, you're going to discuss each concept with the possible definition that belongs to each concept. And then you're gonna do is like, just to put the correct number into the concept. Okay. No, that's, that's all okay. you're gonna do, okay? Once Thank done, you. we're gonna go back there and I'm gonna show you a presentation with the concept and its correct definition. And you just check, okay? Good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye. Hello? Hey, hi, teacher. Sorry, uh, what page do we work? 20. That's like 20, uh, 17. Okay, let's move, move down. Page 20. In, uh, eight. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. In the middle. Go up. A little bit, please. More, more. I there. 
Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that one. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, sorry. that one. And uh, that one. That that exercise number three. The number three. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Exercise three. That okay. part. That Building part. Vocabulary. Exactly. That part, that part is the what terms. you're going to do. Uh -huh. It says match the terms related to logistics to their meaning on the right. Read the definition and read the concepts. And uh, okay, you both um, agree. Write the number. Which, exactly. On which definition belongs to each concept in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Once okay. on, we're going to go back to the menu section. I'm going to show you the concept and the definition. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I think. And the five the small package service can be the second one. Em envelopes or package treatment that weigh less than. Uh... Number five. Number five is. 150, right? Uh -huh. How do you say 150? 150. Uh-huh. It's a small package service. Yep. Okay. Five. Uh, four, five, one. Uh-huh. And number two and three, freight claim insurance. I think private flight is provide protection. What's mm. mean freight, teacher? Freight, carga. Carga. Ah. It's like seguro de carga, algo así. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, the number four is is provide protection. I short think. Time achieved, yes, yeah. The the third one can be the for a legal demand. Legal demand. for damage of shipment. Split. Split. Yeah, it means flota. In this case, that we are talking about transportation, I guess it's flota of vehicles. A legal demand by shippers to carry for financial. Cargo insurance. Okay. Here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Transportation, what is? Transportation. And then the last one, the, the physical, yes, 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 yes. Oh. okay, yes, I understand. We but finished I think already that the, 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 the exercise, oh my God. yes, yes, we are in this case, it's a little easy. Yes, it's a little easy. I only have the confusion with the insurance. And the frequent insurance. You did it? Yes. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
gonna check another group and let's see if they have finished. Okay. Give me a second. Yes. Okay. Bye. Right. Okay. Um. Finish. You finished? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. I will check another group then. Okay, perfect. Okay. Envelopers or package. We okay. write the number five small package service. You finish, guys? Uh, ah, in second. Oh, wait. But what do you have in what do you have in legal demand number? Legal demand, we have a uh, number three. Three. Freight claim insurance. But why is that? That I mean. Couldn't it be like provides protection about against all risk or physical loss or damage for to freight? Couldn't it be yeah. like okay? And in in the last one, the physical process, you have transportation. Yes, transportation. Okay. Transportation. All right, guys, you're done. Uh, yes, but we are not sure. Okay. We are going to make it sure in the main section. Okay, let's go back there. Carla, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, y ahorita la vamos a poner a explicar la parte suya de ayer. What? Oh, <laughs> no. I remember everything that I wish, we talked about. I, I wish I wish I could have you I, I could have seen your face, man, on the screen saying what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, Carla. I'm kidding. Okay. Let's go back. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God, and I was speaking alone as always. Um, all right, these people are joining. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, guys. So I guess everybody's here, so let's move. I am going to show you guys, okay, what concepts goes with the definition and you just check on here, okay? Let me know if you can see the presentation, guys. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So basically now what we're discussing is just a, a, an analysis of 3PL service uh, vocabulary. What does 3PL stand for? 3PL means per party logistics service. But as I said, tomorrow we will be discussing that, the definition about what is a per party logistics service, okay? And everything related to that. So like right now, I would like to discuss, but the vocabulary that you guys were working on, okay? And the first one that you were working on, it was transportation and Daisy. What did you and your classmate choose in this one? Which definition? Daisy.
Daisy? Are you there, Daisy? I'm gonna ask you to mute, man. Unmute. What happened, Daisy? Uh, hello. <laughs> yes, I can listen to you. I don't see you, sorry. You don't see me. Uh, the manual. A vocabulary. Uh -huh. Oh, I explain or I don't. You don't have the manual? You don't have the manual with you? No. Who were you working with? Uh, Christian and Carla. Carla. Christian, what did you choose? Help Daisy out, please. Because I don't have the manual. I'm showing the presentation, Daisy. That's why. Uh, we choose the, the physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise goods and cargo. Cargo. How do you say cargo? Cargo. Like that. Cargo. cargo. Okay. Cargo. Okay, good. Yeah, basically that's what it is. Transportation refers to the physical process of transporting communities and merchandise, or merchandise in this case, goods and cargo. Okay, great people. If you have this one on transportation, that it means it is okay, it is correct. Does everybody have that one? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. But I hope you had it. Don't, don't tell me, uh, yes, teacher, I had that one and you have another one. Okay. Now, let's continue. That's right. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's continue. We don't do that. Uh, okay, yes. That's what I wanted to hear. We are not pajeros. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Okay, good one, Eduardo. There you go. Uh, let me see. Who else? Uh, do, 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 do. We have here private fleet management. Uh, Maria. What did you choose there with your classmate? A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. <laughs> okay, very good. That's what it is. Okay, if you guys had that one, so it means you're correct. A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. investment. Exactly, that refers right. to private fleet management. Okay, and and how, how do you guys understand this term, private fleet management? What do you think it, it, it talks about? Besides reducing, I think, I think it's talk about uh, you have your own trucks. Uh -huh. It says a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicles investment. Actually, it belongs to it, this. This type of things belongs mostly to third party companies. As I was saying, what is a okay. third party company? For example, let's suppose I have a company. Uh, with uh, a lot of trucks, a lot of trailers. And uh, Maria is a producer of uh, what? Mm, vegetables. Let's suppose she's a producer of vegetables and she wants to transport her vegetables from Telatenango to, to San Miguel, okay? But Maria is just a producer. She doesn't have trucks. So she calls me, hey, look, um, do you want me, okay, I mean, I want you to transport my product from Chalatenango to San Miguel. So can you do me that? Can you do that for me and everything? All right, so we made a deal in that case and I am working as a third party company. What is my function? My function is basically to take her product until San Miguel. Okay, so in that case, this one refers to a private fleet management. It, it is basically that, that I am in charge of what? I am in charge of having my trucks in a very good condition. And besides that, 
my trucks have to be under a an insurance, okay, for any kinds of damage. And I have to make sure that her vegetables are going to be delivered in a very good condition. Okay, that that's what it talks about. But tomorrow we will be talking a little bit about this deeper. So you will understand better, right? Good. So let's move to the next one. Freight claim insurance. Freight claim insurance. Uh, Noemi, what did you have in this one, you and your classmates? Um, it's a legal demand by Ash. Refer to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Shipment. Nah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Noemi. Yeah, and you are correct. It says a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for loss of damage of, of a shipment. How do you understand this? Any idea, guys? In this case, is when, um, for example, in the transportation of the product, um, the product have damage, uh -huh. and and the company uh, puts a claim to the the insurance. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. That's what basically it talks about. Thank you, Noemi. Is following up the same example I was giving. Let's suppose Maria, okay, is made, has made a deal with me and I'm transporting her vegetables. But suddenly I made a mistake. I don't put a fridge on the truck or I don't send a truck with a fridge, you know, with a freezer, you know, uh, to transport the vegetables to San Miguel. And when the vegetables arrive to San Miguel, the vegetables are spoiled, are damaged. So what is going to happen to me? Maria is going to be angry at me and Maria is basically going to sue me or demand me, no, sue, sue. Sue is a legal demand, okay? So I had to pay or, or I had to recover her product. All right, so I had to pay for it because it was on, under my inspection, so under my protection. So she has everything to win. And I, instead of her paying to me, I am going to pay her, all right, because of the damaged product. So that's what this refers to, okay? Right claim insurance. All right, let's move. Cargo insurance. Okay, what about this one? Mm, let me see. Oh. Daniel. Help me out with this one, Daniel. Cargo insurance. Uh, providing protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to frames. Okay, very good. Provides protections against all risks of physical loss or damage. There you go. What is going to happen to me? Basically, if I don't want to pay because of a damage that I did, I have to hire a cargo insurance. Okay, so when Maria is angry at me because she wants money back for a product, I'm gonna call my insurance and tell, hey, look, hey, look, I have a problem with this uh, freight. I was transporting from Chalatenango to San Miguel. So my customer is mad at me because the product is damaged. So can you deal with her, please? So now it's not my issue, is the cargo insurance issue with Marie. Okay, so because they are going to be responsible of paying my damage, okay? Because that's why I'm paying to them, right? So in that case, it's a kind of insurance, right? It's, 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 it's like that. For the freight. Okay, good. 
So I guess this is like understood. Let's move out to the last one. Small package services. This one is pretty easy because it's gonna be the last one. Estela, help me a reading, please. What do you have in this one? Okay. A small package service. Mm -hmm. uh, we choose envelopes, envelopes or packaged shipment that weigh less than uh, 150 points. Pounds. Pounds. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so yeah, basically a small package service is like an envelope or packaged uh, shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds, right? Are those services uh, uh, that are uh, moved in envelopes or boxes, right? That transport any kinds of service from one place to another. But this one is less, uh, you know, and I say this, it doesn't have that much logistics, okay? It doesn't cover that much logistics in comparison to the to a huge freight, all right? Or a complete freight. All right, guys, very good. So I guess you got all of these concepts correctly with the definitions. Now, guys, what is going to be the last activity that we're gonna be doing before leaving? All right. <laughs> I brought in here a short conversation, guys. I wanna listen to you speak, okay? In here, guys, I have a short, not kind of short, but a conversation to you, okay? This is, this conversation is related all right, to the transportation of a freight from one place to another, okay? And it says, instructions. Listen to the teacher read the conversation about a product delivery load, then practice with a partner. When you read the word load, what do you think is that? What is a load? What is a load? In here, we're going to learn a lot of vocabulary related to that. Load is similar to freight. What is freight? Carga. Exactly. A load is carga as well. Okay. This is another term very, very useful and uh, used by drivers. Okay. The drivers are, you know, like the people who who drives the trailers or truck, okay, with uh, the materials or the products. So this is a short conversation between Jimmy and Oscar, okay? So, give me one second, guys, give me one second. Because the last part of this conversation is not being shown in here. I need to make this a little bit smaller. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, oops. This is small. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, sure. I'm gonna show it to you and okay, here you have. Okay, let's start reading guys. You can follow up my conversation with the microphone off and then we're gonna practice this for a while, okay? It says, Jimmy, hello, this is Jimmy from cargo.sv. Listen up, from cargo.sv, I need to talk to Mario the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have problems on the road, okay? It is closed. And I think I will miss the appointment, okay? For the delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m., okay? 
It says Oscar. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Jimmy says, okay, my appointment time is for tomorrow afternoon at p.m. But the road is closed due to people on a strike. Listen up. Due to people on a strike. Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? It says, Oscar, as I check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload at that time then. Oh, it says, you're lucky. We don't have trailers at that hour. You can deliver your load at 6 p.m. It says, Jimmy, thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See you. All right. Good, guys. From here, do you have any word, any question with a word that might be unknown for you? Any word that you don't understand that much? On strike. Okay. People on strike, for example. Sometimes with, when people are not satisfied with a service of or something, what they do is go on the street and close the street. They block cars and everything that's on a strike. So what is that? Huelga. Exactly, exactly, on a strike, huelga, okay? That's what it is. Any other word that you might have problems with, people? No, okay, good. If you don't have any other, uh, you know, like kind of question with this, let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna send you guys. Let me see to work in a couple a couple of minutes with this, and then we're gonna come back in here. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna. Uh, can you guys take a screenshot of this? Because I'm gonna send you for three minutes to practice this conversation in pairs, and then we're gonna come back in here. This is gonna be the last thing that we're gonna be doing tonight. Let me know you. Uh, let me know once you have made an, an screenshot, please. Is it done? Done, teacher. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna stop sharing, and I'm gonna send you exactly the same people you were in the breakout rooms, and. Uh, Practice this for about three minutes. Then we're gonna come back in here, okay? I wanna listen to you guys. Go back to the main section in three minutes. Let's go to the breakout rooms, guys. Send me, please, teacher. Ah, Edwin, okay, give me a second. Edwin Vladimir, okay, number two. Give me a second, I'm gonna move uh, number two. Number three, and then number two. Give me one second, Edwin. Okay, let's go now. Edwin, are you here again? Yes, I don't know what happened. What happened to you? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> Give me one second. I'm gonna send you the okay. update. Okay, let's 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 go. Okay, and now to number two. All right, perfect. Schedule my appointment for hours later, please. As I check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload at the time then. Oh, you are lucky we don't have trailers in that hour. You can deliver it to low. But I can help you with that. Fatima. Yeah, I think it's Fatima yeah. got problem with uh, I think you have problems with the microphone, Fatima, because we just listen like like if you were are grabbing a a a a something. Yeah. Okay. And what about now? Ah, okay, now yeah, now I can. Leave yeah. You. <laughs> ah. All right. Uh, okay, my appoint appointment time is for tomorrow. Any other trailer to unload at the time? Then, oh, you are lucky. We don't have trailer, and that or you can deliver your lot at. 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See, I don't know who is. See, See you. you. See you. <laughs> See you. Okay, now I am Jimmy. See you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Again, the last time. You. Again. Okay. Hello. This is Jimmy from Cargo is B. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have a problem on my route. It is closed and I think they change the appointment every day. Mm, no, no, there. Um, the situation is the the separate selectors uh, have have a schedule for for online the product the, of suppliers, and if you lost the the appointment, you can re reschedule the the appointment for another day or for for tomorrow. Okay. For one day. Yes. Finish, teacher. Finish. You're done, guys? Okay, good. Let's go. Let's go back. Ah, okay, guys, let's start over. And the first one I got in here is Daisy. Daisy, let's go. Okay. You were working with Christian, right? Yes. Okay, good. And let's go. Carla. Hi, Carla. Hello. Uh -huh. All right. Let, let's do something. Let's let's do it with uh, with Christian and then Christian with, with Carla, okay? Yes. Hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo.sb. I need to talk to Mario. The manager is chair of the warehouse. I have problems on the road. It is closed and I think I will miss the appointment for the delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy, this is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Okay, my appointment time is Tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. 
but the road is closed due to people on a strike. Can you rescue my appointment for hours later, please? Reschedule. Awesome. Reschedule. Reschedule. There you go. Okay. As I check, your appointment is at uh, two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload at that time then. Oh, you're lucky. We don't have trailers at that hour. You can deliver your lot at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I'll be there tomorrow at the time. See you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy and Christian. Now, Daniel, who were you working with? Mary. Okay, let's go. Maria, right? Maria. Yeah, because Mary's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's oh. go. Okay, hello, but Mary, uh, who? You, you, you speak the other one, Mr. Um, should I read that, Jimmy? And, and, yeah, okay, you're Jimmy, Mary, sorry. Let's go. Uh, okay. Hello. This is Jimmy from Carioid.usb. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have problems on the road. It is closed, and I think I will miss the appointment for the delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not completely working, but I can help you with that. Okay, my appointment time is for tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., but the road is closed due to people on a strike. Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? As I check, your appointment is at 2. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload on that type there. Oh, you are lucky. We don't have a trailer at that hour. You can deliver your load at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See you. See you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria and Daniel. Now, Osbin, who are you working with, Osbin? With me. Okay, but Osbin is not there. <laughs> Probably he, he's on the bed. Give, it, give, give us a, a couple of minutes and... Now I'm gonna recall you again, okay? Eduardo, okay. who are you working with? With me. Okay, I'm okay, working with go. Noemi. Okay, let's go. Okay, first. Hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo SV. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have problems on the road. It is closed and I think I, me I will miss the appointment for the delivery at the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can, but I can help you with that. Okay. My appointment time is for tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., but the road is closed to the people on a strike. Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? As I check, your appointment <clears throat> is at 2. Let me check if we we don't have any other trader to unload at that time then. Oh, you are lucky. We don't have traders at that hour. You can deliver your load at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you to you. You did it. Excellent. Now, Oswin and Estela. Okay. Um, hello. Okay. Hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo. That is B. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have problem on the road. It is closed and I think I will miss the appointment for the delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Okay. My appointment time is for tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m., but the road is closed due to people on strike. 
can you reschedule my appointment for our lady, please? As a check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload at that time then. Oh, you are lucky. We don't have trailers at that hour. Uh, you can deliver your load at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Stella uh, and Oswin. Now, uh, Elwin, Vladimir, and Fatima. Okay. Hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo.sb. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have problems on the road. It is closed and I think I will miss the appointment for the delivery of products tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jamie. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Okay, my appointment time is for tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., but the road is closed due to the people on the street. Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? As I check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if you don't have any other trailer to unload at the time then. Oh, you're lucky. We don't have trailer at that hour. You can deliver your load at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at that time. See you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fatima and Edwin. You did excellent. Now, let's see, Jaime, and if I'm not mistaken, Kenya. Kenya, okay. Okay, um, hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo SB. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in charge of the warehouse. I have a problem with the road, uh, I have a problem on the road. It is close and I think I will miss the appointment for the delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Okay. My appointment time is for tomorrow after, after at 2 p.m., but the the road is closed due to people on a strike. Can you reschedule my appointment for hours later, please? As I check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to love at that time then. Oh, you are lucky. We don't have trailers at that hour. You can deliver your love at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at, at that time. See you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Carla, did you participate, Carla? I don't remember. Yes, if you did. yes. yes I can. <laughs> okay, Carla, listen to me. Uh, but but you didn't you didn't work right now with Tristan, right? Mm, oh, no, 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 I didn't do that. You didn't do it? Ah, oh, okay. Good. Uh, I mean, I, I, yes, I was. Easy, can you help Carla right now? Because I forgot. I totally forgot. Yes. <laughs> okay, whatever. Who helped who help her? Let's go. Uh, I can be Jimmy. Okay. 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 Hello, this is Jimmy from Cargo.sb. I need to talk to Mario, the manager in chair of the warehouse. I have problems on the road. It, it is closed, and I think I will miss the appointment for delivery of the product tomorrow at 4 p.m. Hello, Jimmy. This is Oscar. Mario is not currently working, but I can help you with that. Okay, my appointment time is for tomorrow after at uh, 2 p.m., but the road is closed due to people on a strike. 
Can you reschedule my appointment four hours later, please? As I check, your appointment is at two. Let me check if we don't have any other trailer to unload at that time then. Oh, you're lucky. We don't have trailers at that hour. You can deliver your load at 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Oscar. I will be there tomorrow at uh, that time. See you. See you. Okay, perfect, <laughs> perfect, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, somebody that might be missing. Everybody has participated already? Yep. Okay. All right. So if you have already participated, guys, I'm going to stop sharing this. And I'm going to go ahead and pass the attendance list, guys. And that's going to be everything for tonight because I see some faces like, uh, teacher, I want to go home and sleep. I mean, I want to go to the bed and sleep. Right, Maria? Yes, yes. No sé lo que dice, pero yes, dice Maria. Okay, give me a second. I'm just going to load this. Okay, let's see. Carmen Eugenia. All right, so just, just, listen. Uh, Cristian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimides. Present. Okay, good. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, nice. Edwin Alexander. Okay, so at the end, Kiterenka connected. Edwin Vladimir. Present. The best. But you can see that Edwin. Present. I said present. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, let me see Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, great. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Fatima, ha, have we had the, 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 the feedback? Uh, no, but we can. Okay. Can you stay for a couple of minutes with me right after class? It's not going to be that yes, long. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. Okay, great. Eduardo Jose. Present. Okay, good. Carla Lisset. Okay, so probably she's busy. Lorena Beatriz. Okay, Lorena is not here. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, great. Manuel Antonio. Present. What's up, Manuel? Why haven't you been in the practice? You sick? Yeah, I'm sick. Ah, so I can I can hear your voice. It's a little bit different. I hope you get better soon, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Ah, okay, no, she's there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, I my phone just get free some some for some second. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Mary Raquel. So Mary's not here. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Osbin. He's there, but probably he's, he's, he's busy. Okay, guys, thank you for getting connected. All right, let's see you tomorrow in the last video conference of the week, okay? Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, good. All right, Fatima. So basically, uh, this time is just for us to clarify any question that you might have related to this class or previous classes or something related to the platform, okay? So I don't know if you have had any question related to these topics or the previous ones or something related to the platform. Uh, just to clarify the topic that you studied yesterday, the in inbound and outbound, outbound logistics. 
All right. So as you can check in the manual, specifically on page 19, exercise seven, you have a short definition about an inbound and outbound logistics. I'm going to show you here just for you not to check that in there. Look at this. Inbound logistics, it says, concerns to basically to the relationship between companies and their suppliers. Let's remember that the suppliers are basically the producer, the, 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 the produ producers, okay? The producers, okay? So in this case, it's how good is the relationship between the company and the suppliers in this case, okay? How is the process of getting the materials, okay, for the company to produce all the, the, the goods and services and everything? And the outbound logistics is basically the communication or how companies get the products to the customers. It can be the final customer or it can be like retailer stores or uh, yeah, basically it goes to retailer stores, right? So this is like relationship between the two main companies in charge of the product, one, the producer and the other one, the distributor. And then the outbound, it's basically referring to the relationship between the company and the consumer or the customer in this case. Okay, and the customer you can uh, uh, refer to like uh, those stores who, you know, like sell the products to the final consumer. It can be Super Selectos, it can be Walmart, it can be any other store, right? Who receives the product just for that product to be sold. Okay, so this is the difference between inbound and outbound. We also were uh, doing this, look. In here, you have, since the inbound logistics to the outbound logistics, how's the communication in here? Okay, here, since you have the supplier in here, which of the concepts that you have in here, like customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning and purchasing, you can put in here, in this first box. Fatima? Uh, warehouse. Uh -huh. um, and, purchasing. and purchasing. I purchase. Purchasing. Because uh, that's the relationship between the, the producer and the suppliers, like okay. raw material. You exactly. Have Very good. So they purchase, right? Basically, it can be the raw material or a product done already. Very good. And uh, which one would you put in here? Mm. Where the process of transportation and everything is being developed. Uh, production planning and transport. Okay, mostly production planning, right? Because this is like the way how this product will be transported and everything related to that. Okay, perfect. And the last one, that indicate, it, it is indicating the outbound logistics, uh, you know, the relationship between the company and the customer? Uh, customer service, because you that's the way you listen to the customer. Exactly, okay. In here, it's basically uh, the, the, the main one, it's the customer service. Why the customer service? Basically, uh, as you said, because in here, you just pay attention to the necessities of the customers, basically. And if there is any kind of complaint or any other thing referring to the freight in customer service, those issues are being done, okay? So in here is like the final part, right? Now from here, the product is going to be delivered to the final consumer, right? Because in here, in the last stage, you are basically dealing with the companies or stores that acquire the product, that, you know, receive the product, that product to be sold, okay? 
So that was okay. basically what we were just discussing about these two uh, terms, inbound logistics and outbound logistics. Uh, we were also talking about this vocabulary. We did exactly what we were doing today with uh, the exercise three from the next page. So we did exactly the same thing with this vocabulary, okay? So your classmates were reading the concepts, they were discussing the definitions, and they were setting up in here the number and the corresponding, you know, like concept with the corresponding uh, definition, okay? So I don't know if you have any question with this. Mm. No, no, everything, everything is okay with, with this part. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, something else I can assist you with, uh, Fatima? A any, I don't know, doubt that you might have? No, no, for the moment, everything is, okay. I understand everything. Perfect, perfect. What about with the platform? Are you going up today with uh, the homework? Yes, actually, I think I have one more because I wasn't presenting the class of the of Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I assume I have to do the three homework, but okay, one good. is more than we saw we should it today. Actually, actually this 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 uh, this week in the platform is a little bit tricky because every two classes that we have, there's mm -hmm. one homework. <laughs> every two classes, but there's no problem. You can continue working in the platform. You can go ahead and there's no problem, okay? The idea for the platform is for you to practice, okay? And if okay. you get the, the, the maximum score, it will be even perfect, okay? But the idea in there is like, if you want to continue working in the platform, doing the exercises uh, in there, the homework there, uh, in advance, you know, you can do it with no problem, okay? Okay. Okay, Fatima. So let's remember, any question that you might have, any doubt when I'm explaining something or something is happening in the class, don't hesitate, turn on the microphone and ask me, okay? Thank you very much. I will I be will. willing to help, okay? Very good. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I will let you to you know, go to bed and rest, Fatima, because you might be tired, okay? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> okay, good. So, okay, so uh, good night and see you tomorrow, Fatima, okay? Have a great night. Okay, see you. thank you. Same. Bye-bye.